I really think that as I got older, I think that that um, some of their hooks of the stories and everything else really got into it so that I started really believing sure. all of the stuff. Right. So I believe that, uh-oh, the weekend's coming, it's going to be awful. So I think whereas in the what you're saying is like, oh, I had to play the game, it's going to be awful. But I'm like, yeah, I'm here, I can be myself. I really mm -hmm. think that it started to take its toll on me. Right. The brainwashing, sure. the programming just became, it's like you can't separate what your own thoughts and what your own feelings are. You're just always thinking about how is this going to be perceived or right. then you start thinking that like those are actually your thoughts. You really right. believe that that's how you feel right. about that, it. Yeah, that's, that's like the reality of it, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. Because I can remember too, and kind of getting back to that like instability is, um, I can remember one instance where it was a snowy day. I don't remember how old I was, but um, there was a lot of buildup that I didn't want to, I wasn't going to want to go on the weekend and everything else. And um, they stuck a note on the door that said, you know, basically like you were saying like unavailable, like mm -hmm. just bug off, like mm -hmm. too bad. Right. And so whatever your plans were for the weekend, you know, obviously not going to happen. But I can remember they took me to a golf course nearby to do some cross country skiing to stay away because you were going to be in this, you know, frantic state where you know you were all stressed out and angry and, and you know whatever which I've never even seen but mm -hmm. anyways this picture was painted for me that you were going to be going ballistic and that we needed to stay away it wasn't almost like it wasn't safe to stay in the house because who knows mm -hmm. you could be banging on the door mm -hmm. and I can remember going to the ski play uh, going on the skis and I remember again I was never able to really feel like I could be present anywhere. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're doing the ski thing and all I can think of is what's happening back at home. I'm right. imagining you showing up at the door, expecting to see me, you know, I don't know, maybe honking the horn, waiting for me to come down, mm -hmm. finally getting out. What is this note? Seeing the note, feeling right. the disappointment. But I can remember feeling all of this back and then at the same time still being like, oh, hey, this is supposed to be fun. Meanwhile, I can remember the my mom and, and the regime, my aunt saying, you know, ha, 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 imagine the look on his face. And I was like, I can remember thinking, I didn't right. say it, sure, but I can remember thinking, that's really mean, like, that's awful. Like, you know, and then I can remember coming back, we waited till you would have long passed and had mm. your berserk, you know, state that you went. And then thinking, like coming back, pulling in, it was kind of like, eerie it was almost like coming to a crime scene i can yeah. remember feeling like you know you're looking back yeah. is he there oh is he there and there was a lot of drama where is he, is he parked around the corner is he you know is he spying on the house yeah you know and you pull in and then yeah. you're like looking and you just know that like something happened here but you weren't there it's just but the imagination sure the imagination is run wild. Was a, a lot more than the reality because basically what i did is i took the note you know, I took it with me, yeah. so they knew I was there. Yeah. But you know, I didn't go crazy. I, you know me; I'm pretty laid back. I yeah. don't get too upset about yeah. things. I did get upset. I was upset, of course. But I didn't manifest it by you know doing any damage or anything. That was be way beyond the realm. But I know that that's how they envision things. Yeah, yeah, they definitely. So I mean, did. you know, I hype up the the drama, and it has that much more of an effect on you. Mm -hmm. Which I mean, unfortunately, that was too bad what did you like what do you do after that like what do you feel like you, you know feel from your like standpoint? Uh, oh here we go again okay this is and, and you know the thing is there wasn't an awful lot you could do I mean basically you can go back to court but I mean you know and we did do that mm -hmm. I mean um, a couple years after this nonsense of putting mm -hmm. up with it for two years I did go back into court I petitioned for full custody of you and that set forth another whole set mm. of you know really really malicious things um, like really beyond the pale actually yeah. well, um, one, of the, one of the things I can remember was you know again you're damned if you do damned if you don't like right. you say the box right. is you know, if you didn't fight for me, if you didn't go to court, or if you didn't show an interest, it was very easy. He doesn't care about right. you. He doesn't show any interest in you. He doesn't mm -hmm. want you. We're the ones that want and love you and all that. Right. But then if you did, I can remember when it was going back to court and all that was, was he's trying to take you away from us. Right. He's gonna take you away. He's not gonna let us see you. All the things that they were actually doing to you, mm -hmm. they were projecting onto you, saying he's going to do this to you, he's going to talk about you, he's not going to let you see, he's going to try to poison you against us, because that's all they knew. Right. That's what they were doing. That's the mentality that they saw. 